morning class 10 now let's start with act 4 scene 1 fine yesterday we did that Shylock refused to show any mercy on Antonio fine he gave then Antonio told Bassanio that it is useless to argue with the Jew he gave certain examples to show that how useless it is to argue with the Jew fine so now the Duke says to in uh, Shylock Duke how shall thou hope for mercy rendering none rendering means giving so how shall thou hope for mercy how can you hope for god's mercy if you show no mercy to others if you do not show mercy in this case how shall you hope for mercy from others from god shall I? what judgment shall i dread doing no wrong dread means fear afraid so he said why should i need mercy when I have done nothing wrong. Okay. When I have no fear of any punishment. I have done nothing wrong. I have no fear of any punishment. So why should I need mercy? You have among you many poor. Now children this is a very rational speech of Shylock. Though it cannot hide you have among you many purchased slaves which like your asses and your dogs and mules you use in abject and in slavish part abject means in a mean way in a degrading way slavish part slaves work fine so wild task mean tasks so he said you have among you many purchased slaves you have among you many slaves whom you bought with your money fine which like your asses and your dog and mules you use in abject and slavish part because you bought them and those slaves work for you the slaves that you have bought with money they works for you in the same way as your donkeys your dogs and your mule works fine and you use those slaves yeah, you use in abject and slavish part you use those slaves for the performance of all sorts of mean and degrading tasks and why you use them in that manner because you have bought them you have paid money to buy them and that's why you give them the degrading tasks Shall I say to you, let them be free, marry them to your heirs? Is it possible for me to ask you to let them be free, to release those slaves and marry them to your heirs and let them marry, have them married to your sons and daughters? Is it possible for me to ask you to free your slaves and let them marry to your sons and daughters? Why sweat they under burden? Can I ask you why you make those slaves work so hard that they begin to sweat? Let their beds be made as soft as your yours and let their pallets be seasoned with such wines season means treated season means give a season uh, with such wine means give them the same food as you eat by yourself fine so he said let their beds be made as soft as yours can i suggest you that you should provide your slaves with beds which are as soft as your own beds or let their pellets be seasoned with such wines or should i suggest you that give them the same delicious meal which you eat okay so that they can also enjoy the same pleasure you will answer the slaves are err if i tell you to do any of the things you will answer that these slaves are yours and uh, you have the right to treat them just as you like so add so do i answer you so 
in the same way i can answer the question which you have asked me the pound of flesh which i demanded of him is dearly bought clear that the pound of flesh that i am demanding from antonio has been purchased by me it dearly bought means has been purchased by me at a very high price it's mine and i will have it because i have bought it it belongs to me and i must have it if you deny me fie upon your law if you refuse to let me have it your legal system would stand condemned your legal system would be ashamed there is no force in the decree of venice i stand for judgment and so shall i have it if you refuse me to have my penalty if you refuse me to have the pound of flesh clear so you would merely showing that there is no strength in the law of venice i stand for judgment so i am now asking for your decision in this case i want judgment i am standing here to know your judgment in this case let me know whether i'll get my pound of flesh or not do you upon my power i may dismiss the court so now with my authority clear i can postpone the proceeding of this court unless belerio a learned doctor whom i have sent for to determine this determine decide this come here today so you said uh by my authority i can postpone the proceeding of this course till a learned doctor dr belario arrives here i have sent for him i have called him to come and decide this case he is to reach here today celerio my lord here stays without a messenger with a letter from the doctor new comes from padua so celerio informs them so my lord there is a messenger waiting outside this court clear he has just arrived from padua and he has brought some letter from dr glario do bring us the letter call the messenger so he said bring the uh, bring the letter to us and call the messenger now children if you remember the previous scenes so you might remember that who is this messenger who came here it is neresa disguised as portia's clerk fine so revise it carefully rest will do tomorrow thank you